Right, perfect. Yep, please sit down. So, hello everyone. So, uh, my name is Vlad. I'm the managing partner here at the Oyster Catchers. I run our consultancy business, uh, which, uh, I'm, uh, which is focuses on uh, lots of agency performance strategies, etc. All of that. Uh, but this is not why we are here. We're here today to talk about the best agency marketing category. And uh, we have a perfect and great panel that uh, I would like to introduce now that has helped us to go through the submission and find what was the best best of the best of how you present your agency or how would you like to present your agency to your potential clients. So uh, without further ado, we have a Carl, uh, Keith and Rob, and I'll let you introduce yourself, please. <laughs> so Carl. Hi, I'm Carl Gregory. I'm uh, formerly the GM for Match.com Northern Europe. I come from a marketing background. I've kind of crossed over from marketing into, into management. Um, at the end of this evening, if you're drunk and need relationship advice, please don't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good the marketing side, relationship, maybe a bit less. Uh, good evening. Um, my name is Keith Moore. I'm the CMO at Santander. I have been there forever. So, yeah, I'm not going to say any more than that. Hi, I'm uh, Rob Lawrence. I'm uh, Creative Strategic Director at Bowers & Wilkins Audio Brand, uh, previously of Razorfish and Accenture. So I've kind of been on both sides of the fence, um, and that's what kind of made this interesting, because I spent a lot of time making agency reels and telling agency stories. So to sit in a room, being a judge was very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much. So, in terms of the agency marketing, you know, some, some could argue that the best marketing for your agency is the great work you do for your clients, and you would probably be right. However, it's also about using, you know, and grasping the opportunities, how you can use the different ways of how to make your agency interesting to senior marketers. And this, is, this, this was really the key theme when we've been looking at the submissions and when we've been evaluating them. So, in terms of the criteria, um, which I will just quickly run through, it's about what we are looking for is that in the way when you present yourself, do you actually clearly demonstrate what you are about as an agency, what makes you you? Is it distinguishable to everyone else on a market who's trying to, doing this, who's trying to do the same? Um, do you have, you know, do you do it, do you present it in a, in a way that's engaging and attractive and that really kind of do you a favor or justice when it's all about the marketing of yourself. Um, also, we've looked into, we know agencies don't have massive marketing budgets, right? You probably, probably it would be wrong if you had, but have you thought about how you could really utilize some of the earned media, how you could really build on the hype and, uh, and uh, you know, that, that you know, that potentially kind of surrounds the event or activity that you were running. And overall, we were looking for a clever presentation of you, of your ideas. And if there was one question that you had to kind of answer in, you know, for the panel, it was really, it was really about, are we interested to talk to you? Do we want to? Did you intrigue us? And speaking about speaking about that, obviously we have a panel here to talk a little bit about little about a little bit about that and kind of some of the things you were looking for. And I think this would be super useful for agencies to hear about what really was it, and uh, and if you can share some of your thoughts. Okay. So the first thing is, um, as a brand, I'm, I'm trying to articulate my proposition. So I'm expecting you as an agency to be able to articulate it. And then every touch point I have with your agency needs to reflect that. Um, you, you know, today I, th I guess I, I want to be a bit honest, and, and so because you're all here and you want to hear a bit of feedback. I was a bit um, surprised by how you, some of the agency missed that. Um, you, you, the creative talent in the UK is amazing, incredible. Uh, some of the agencies I knew, I knew personally, and then I, I, I saw the video and they, the way they presented themselves, and I was a bit underwhelmed. And um, so, please, if you represent a brand, make sure that your website is articulating that. Make sure the creative you've given us also articulates that. So that, that, that was one of my first observations. Um, I'll, I'll hand over to Keith. 
Yeah, yeah you've, been, you've been very nice there, Carl, actually. <laughs> we, had, we, had quite, we were quite vociferous in the room when we were judging. We, thought we'd, we, had, we agreed before we sat down on the stage tonight that we'd be very honest with everybody because everybody put a lot of time into putting these awards together and putting their entries in. And some of the award entries were, I guess, if, if, if you were doing that work for a client, I think the work would have been, for, for want of a better word and for the sake of brevity, would have been better. So I think there were some good examples and some where people just, if you, you would never have presented that work to a client because it didn't have single-minded propositions in it. It wasn't consistent about the way it was displayed. It was very uh, siloed. And in the end, it was quite hard to understand what some of the entries were trying to say about the agency. So that was, that's what I'd add to what, what Carl was saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, um, I think I'd follow that. Um, I tried writing some notes earlier to give myself an idea of what I was going to say, and I've got a picture of an onion, uh, a stick of rock, and a tin of paint, because uh, they were all metaphors for what I think uh, uh, a good bit of agency marketing should do. I'm not sure they're successful ones, but the one that is probably the best is uh, does what it says on the tin. And virtually without exception, you failed. Well, the, the agencies that submitted their stuff failed to do what it says on the tin, um, which is never going to help convince anybody sitting in a room trying to pick an agency to work with that you're worth working with. So I think, you know, in the spirit of continuing to be mean to everybody out there, um, you get the picture. Uh, so thank you for the honesty. It was maybe um, uh, um, a bit deeper than, than what our rehearsal was. Flat. However... I'm, I'm feeling a bit nervous at the moment. <laughs> Can I value Where, where's the, the exit? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, ha, uh, <laughs> however, there is, a, there is a theme, and, and, and that was that you probably are not marketing yourself as well as, you know, as, 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 as what you do, as is your day-to-day -day work. And, you know, maybe you can give yourself a bit more of a, you know, favor when, when, you're, when you're thinking about, so how do I make sure that my agency is there and at the top of your mind as the marketer? When I was going through the awards, I, I kind of, it just reminded me of a story of a friend of mine who's got a very, very successful investment company. He, he helps companies merge. He gives them investment advice. And he's go, he was going through a, 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 his own M&A uh, deal. And he actually got somebody else to help him. And I, and I asked him, why did you do that? He said, well, you know, we're great at advising clients. I know because I was on the receive, receiving end of that. But actually, we're not very good at doing it for ourselves. Now, I know if you're an agency, you can't, get, you can't go and ask another agency, hey, can, can you help me? Um, but, it, but that story really resonated with me when I was looking at, at the awards. And, and I, I think this is, you know, just leverage your internal culture, get your best creative teams, and, and really incentivize and motivate them to create some great work which reflects what your brand is, and then, and then present it back to the clients. That, that's the advice I'd give. Yeah, I think, uh, to build on that, um, I think it's about asking yourself the difficult questions that you ask your clients. Because you're very good at asking your clients, because I've, I've been one for all my career. I get asked a lot of difficult questions. The best agencies I work with, and I work with some great ones, ask me difficult questions. And they make me make brave decisions. And I'm, I, you know, I'd encourage you guys to do the same thing of yourselves. And it, in, maybe it's by getting outside help, like Carl was saying. You know, some agencies that I've worked with do that. They ask their CMOs of the companies they work with to give them some advice to give them a beer sounding board mm -hmm. yeah I, th I, th I think that's true uh, you know um, to pick on both pick up on both of those points it's quite often the task that gets left uh, to the end marketing yourselves it's the juniors that get given the job it's the you know it's the tail end of whatever money you've got left you know it's cobbling together a real whatever it happens to be and you know to be honest it shows uh, through in the, quite a lot of the stuff that we saw. There's very little uh, joined up thinking, which is what I think most of you are trying to sell in one form or another. And it's what we're looking for, you know, as clients, we're looking for people who can kind of connect a thought to an outcome and, 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 and make those things work, right? Mm -hmm. And you'll see in the, in, 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 the, in, in the winning entry how well that was done. But it stood out in a field of 
questions. I won't go any further. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you for a nice segue into the positive part <laughs> of, uh, <laughs> of, uh, of, of the discussion. And, uh, and, and actually, saying all of that, we did have an entry that stood out above and I would say beyond everything else that we've seen and that has delivered upon, upon, the, upon all of these criteria. Yep. Right? It's an object lesson in how to yeah. do it. Yeah. Which means we only have a winner in this category. We do not have the runner-ups. However, we thought that maybe some of the... Last, last yes? Second. We're just going to have some questions. Uh, questions. Oh, questions. From the audience. Yeah, sure, of course. I, I, shall. I, no, sorry. I knew that. Okay. <laughs> there aren't any questions. Don't mess with Don't sure. Thank you for covering for me. <laughs> we had, um, However, we we'll announce it after the questions We had lots of sensible from questions this time. Have any of the panel ever chosen an agency or put them through chemistry because they love their single-minded proposition? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, no, I have. I have, yeah. Mixture of people and proposition, yeah. Yeah, I, I've done the same. I, I, I brought seven, eight agencies in every single time we do a pitch. And, um, and the chemistry is really important, and the people in the room is really important, including diversity, and ensuring they're, they're also on the pitch when we meet them. And can agencies market themselves as well as they do for their clients? Apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'll be a bit flippant. I yes. think I think it's um, I think agencies can, yeah. It's just about well, they should be able yeah, to. But I, I think I think the point that was made earlier on, I think Rob made actually, was about putting it at the bottom at the bottom of the list. It's like in a client company, right? We're always at the arse end of the process, the marketing department. Quite often, we're always squeezed. There's R&D that goes on, all this kind of stuff, and every, everything gets squeezed. And I think the same principle has been applied to the way the, the agencies do that work. Yeah, exactly. A, a, a good ad uh, connected to a bunch of things that you want to sell to people that convinces them that you're worthwhile buying you know, does the job. You know, that's what we're all in the room being paid for in one form or another, right? Okay, now are the winners. Right. Okay, so when we announce the winner, I would suggest we announce the winner, then watch the video, because I think it would be really useful for everyone to see how it delivers upon all of these, all of these uh, criteria. So the winner is the AML. AML Congratulations. And their campaign on Donald Trump and Donald. The winner is a simple poster idea revealing the clear message to voters contained in Donald Trump's name. Don't. As usual, we tweeted the winner and put it on our website. Then we watched in amazement as the story was picked up, first in Singapore, then Taiwan, then Texas, and on social media around the world. Over a single weekend, the poster gained millions of views and shares. It was described as brilliant, genius, even adorable. Republican Party red and white colors and a similar typeface made many people think that it was an ad by The Economist. We were flattered. The Economist itself was heard to chuckle. By Monday, AML's poster was the most shared story on the poke. It appeared in press from Greece to New York. It topped Imgur's most viral chart. It was time we took some credit, so we piled into social media and featured the poster on our website, in creds, and on our marketing material. AML's story became the lead story on Adweek in the States, talking about how simple ideas can cut through complicated arguments. Adweek even asked whether a ghost ad like this could change voter opinion. We're not finished yet. As the US election reaches its bizarre final stages and the result is still not clear, uh, we've been approached by the Democrats abroad to work with them. So a film version of the poster has gone live, together with live events, real posters, and of course, a Donald Trump-style campaign hat. On the front, it says, don't. On the back, it says, AML, making advertising great again. It's an unusual approach to agency marketing, but simple, effective ideas for complicated issues is what we do at AML. Um, can I just say something at the end of that, actually, like Please. before we go on? Um, we sat there uh, after watching this and thought, you know what, that sounds absolutely brilliant, but how much of that is just chance and opportunism? And one of the reasons we gave AML the award is we went and looked the at their website, and we went and looked at their work, right? And what he says at the end of that carries all the way through. 
is it, it touches and enhances absolutely everything they do down to the last kind of sentence and full stop. And we were really, really impressed that quite clearly, though that was lucky, it was a good idea and it went the way it did. Yeah. It's what they live and breathe, right? And that's what made it stand out. So, yeah. so thank you. What a better introduction for you, Ian, and the team to please come on stage and congratulations. Thank you so much. You Thank you. We didn't make enough hats. <laughs> Congratulations. Yep. Okay, photo. Thank you. Hang on, yeah, I'm going to yeah. get a hat. Yeah, yeah you, you do have to have get a hat. <laughs> Thank you. Brent, Thank you. Right. Okay. Thank you. Well done.